Hello guys, uh, a few months back they uh, announced the news of the upcoming Batman Superman movie and we figure based on the stuff that we talk about we need to do a discussion about this. Of course. And it doesn't seem any more timely than today because this morning there was last a... Night. Or last night. <laughs> depending on uh, where you are in the world, an announcement was made that shook the whole world <laughs> of who oh, would be playing Batman in the upcoming Man of Steel sequel that will heavily feature Batman and Superman together. And the actor chosen is... The greatest actor alive. T yes. American, <laughs> American treasure that he is, Ben Affleck. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers. Hey, hey, Ben Affleck is going to be Batman in the uh, Superman Batman movie. No shit! Yeah. yeah. So, but obviously this raises a lot of questions. <laughs> so we figured that this would be the best thing to discuss since our previous video of Marvel vs. DC has gotten the oh, most views out of you guys. So... <laughs> And Why not? the three of us, it's fair to say, are fairly passionate about DC. <laughs> Based on the outcomes, you can probably guess that from the Marvel DC video. But so, the Batman Superman movie is... DC. It's a huge event, because, you know, this is... It's like the Avengers for us. Yeah, you, um, you got the worst character and the second worst character <laughs> coming together. I'm just, I did see something pointed out today that nobody thought... That um, Daredevil was Michael awful. Keaton. No, oh. <laughs> Michael yeah. was going to be a good Batman. Mr. Mom is Batman. <laughs> exactly. What? <laughs> but he ended up being, in my opinion, one of the, one one of the best. Ones. And it's funny because you know when you look at Michael Keaton, you know, especially out of the suit, even when you look at him playing Bruce Wayne, there's no way you can picture him in that Batman. Cow. Yeah, like, of course, I, that's half of what made him so perfect for the part. To be honest with you, I, I, I think he's going to do a good job. I think he's going to be a good Batman. Ben Affleck, yes. you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, personally, I can't really say anything, because I've explained this to you already. I don't yeah. know if I can explain this Yeah, you did. Whenever you, you came. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. But I haven't explained, explained it to them. No, you haven't. Um, is that I personally haven't seen anything that Ben Affleck's been in. <laughs> Besides, like, Dogma or... <laughs> I don't even know if I've seen Dogma all the way through. <laughs> like, <laughs> Love that movie. I, I'm talking, like, Daredevil, like, so long ago. Dude. Um, so I, I can't really say anything for his acting style. I mean, I, I've known him as the director. I saw Arter. And I tell you, that's that's the like. one kind of ray of light... For, well, I, I don't want to say the one ray of light, like, because I'm actually not... <laughs> a, no, 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 not Daredevil. In this whole him being cast as Batman time. situation, if he's cast as Batman now, I hope what that means is that Warner Brothers will allow him to do the next solo Batman movie yeah. as director, um, as yeah, well as playing as... Because I, I, I keep thinking back to The Town, which, if uh, you guys haven't yeah. seen it, is oh, an absolutely it. It was incredible, about that one. great yeah. crime oh, thriller. Yeah. And think about, you know, the, the goons running around dressed up as nuns. You know, that's almost something like out of a Batman story, oh, yeah. you know? So I think him doing a solo <laughs> Batman movie as director, I, I think he would be one of the best picks. I just... Don't know how I feel about him actually in the suit. I, I can see, I can totally see him as Bruce Wayne. Totally see him as Bruce yeah. Wayne. And I, I feel like he could do a Batman too. I feel like he could do a dark, dark character like. It's that. kind of funny how with like Michael Keaton, it was like, oh, I can totally see him doing a Bruce Wayne, and then he was the best Batman. And with Christian Bale, it's like I can totally see him doing Batman, and but then he, he was, was a much better Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I did see somebody put on the internet of a picture. Um, that they took of Ben Affleck and put him in the cowl, put him full makeup and everything, and it looks <laughs> really he, good. He's definitely got the physique and oh, yeah. just that kind oh, of yeah. jaw structure. I, I can picture him physically in the cowl. I mean, you also got to think that, yeah, actors do a big part, but it also has a lot to do with the writing. Direct. If the oh, writing, writing and the too, directing yeah. are good... It doesn't matter if the... Yeah, the writing is the single most important foundation of any of these super oh, yeah. movies. Any of the bad ones, it can all be traced back to a bad script. Mm -hmm. but, and not necessarily, because the script for Green Lantern was a pretty good fucking script, but the actors just ruined it. Okay, well, I would say that that's, you know, <laughs> in case of the design work and uh, the, what they the did only, with that movie. Only yeah, the only people who were good in that was Hal Jordan problem. and um, Sinestro. That's but I'm saying, when like, you look at movies like, well, that's like you know, saying, the real bad superhero movies, Jonah Hex, Catwoman, Batman and Robin, and all comes back to those cheesy-ass scripts. Superman yeah, 3, 4, and 5. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was it three, four, and, and um, the returns? returns. returns. Yeah, 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 bad script. And and that's also why I'm kind of concerned because you know David Goyer is doing the script mm -hmm. for Superman Batman, isn't um, which he admittedly did have a part in the Chris Nolan Batman series, but he still had Christopher Nolan there doing it with isn't him. Isn't um, Nolan's he, brother doing it too? That I can't say. I'm honestly because I know sure. he did. He worked on the Superman script too. Um. Yeah. yeah. Well, David. No. As far as I know, David. It, yeah. No, it was Nolan, David Goyer Nolan's and brother Nolan's brother did the did script for Man of Steel and uh, Batman. And Christopher Nolan helped with Batman too. Yeah, Christopher oh. Nolan did Batman, but he didn't have anything to do with Man of Steel, and that's what he, I'm saying. No, is no, no. That, he, well, he kind of did. He was. Uh, he's he was. Been, he he's was Godfather. He's Godfathering all DC movies now. Yeah, he's the producer right now, but I'm saying he still doesn't have that in hand position yeah. in the actual movie making. You know, sure, he's selecting the people and whatnot. And I, the reason I bring up David Goyer mm -hmm. is if if there was one real weakness with Man of Steel, it was the script. You know, kind of like with any of those other movies, it all boiled down to what was put on the page. Oh, yeah. I'm um, sure Zack Snyder might have used too dark a color palette, but it comes back to the script. And so that's why I'm concerned. You know, maybe I could trust Ben Affleck if I knew the script was coming from something really good, but... We might get another kind of subpar script and then have Ben Affleck on top of it. As we also got to think that, who knows, this might be his one thing that he needed. The one writing that he would be good at. The one Here's year. the thing, though. I'm curious as to how they're going to write Batman. Because, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, oh, I'm sure I've told you guys already, but they're completely redoing Batman. It's a completely different yeah. take on the character. Mm -hmm. And they said that the origin story has been redone so many times that they are completely going away from that because this thank really God isn't an origin story. Yeah, I mean, they mean to Batman just jump into Superman. it. Oh yeah. So we, we've we've had our origin stories. I want to know how they're going to do Batman. What, what, not I'm sure they're going to still Superman. I'm sure they're no, going to. No, it's still going to be Henry Cavill yeah, it's going him. right off of Man yeah, of Steel. Yeah, exactly. That is all. I don't know how they're going. To and see, that's, I'm that's sure they're going to still go with the basis of his parents getting shot in... Oh, of course! Yeah, they're yeah, going to yeah, have yeah, They'll yeah, go yeah, with the yeah, basics, yeah. but we the, the thing that concerns me about this movie is... The, and I brought this up when I first heard about them making it, actually, was that not we have this... It's essentially... It is a Man of Steel sequel. Oh, yeah. 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 In which they that's are introducing oh, Batman. Batman. Yeah. And so we have Superman, who is already going to be introduced, so we don't have to worry about his origin... But now we're going to have Batman, and we're going to have to, even if you don't reshow his whole origin story, you still need to establish his universe. Yes. Yeah. You need to show him, you need to show Gotham, you need to show Alfred, you need to that's, show some snippets of his background. Thinking about it, actually, that that's like saying that Ben Affleck actually might do a good job, because he's not the main point, he is not the main character, he's a side character. Yes, So he, yes, the Batman um, in <coughs> Man of Steel might be good. But here's, here's my concern with this. So say we have Superman set up, we need to spend some time with the Batman origin and whatnot, mm -hmm. and that's assuming that it is just a Batman-Superman movie. And frankly, I'd like to hope that there are some bad guys in there. At least, you know, probably... Le I, I, I have very little doubt that Lex Luthor um, will show up. I um, heard that they um, really want, for this new movie, Brainiac. Really, really want Brainiac for the new hmm. Man of Steel. I, I was think it, he already confirmed? He, I'm not sure if he was actually confirmed or not, but it would be great. If you want to team up, you've got to have someone who's going to attack the world. But at so the same gonna, time, like, I think it needs to up. be a villain that both Batman and Superman have, can add to fighting. So, you know, Brainiac, that's a Superman villain. Lex Luthor would be a better fit because he's more, he's closer he's to human. Batman's level. <laughs> you know, super, he can create yeah. these elaborate... You know, robot armies and everything for Superman to fight, but Batman would be the one to tackle him on an intellectual level. Yeah. Um, and, and, but so let the, so let's assume we have Superman. We're going to have to introduce Batman. We're going to have to introduce Lex Luthor and potentially introduce a new Batman villain. Um, I was thinking that same thing that maybe they would do a villain for each. So, some kind of a team up or something. Like I'm that, just yeah. concerned that either way you cut it, this is going to be a really crowded movie. And it's why I wish they had given another solo Batman movie to introduce this new Batman before doing a team-up. Um, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see the team-up first. You think so? Oh, yeah. Because 
We've had enough origin stories. We've had way yeah. Well, yeah, enough yeah, origin it, it's stories. I don't, I don't like it's another it's origin an introductory story. story. I just yeah, an yeah. introductory because yeah. it is still a new character. But if they were gonna do another Batman movie with new Batman, new everything, they're, they'd have to do another origin story. They would have to. Not necessarily. I mean, look at stuff like the Incredible Hulk, where which they was were still actually it's technically a sequel to the Hulk. Yeah, it the, is. The Incredible Hulk was a sequel to to the Hulk. The Hulk. It was he whenever he because at the end of the Hulk. He shows up in um, Brazil, Brazil yeah. where he is in, in. Yeah, but it still shows a completely different set of origins, and it's that movie still is a reboot. I think, in my opinion, because they don't acknowledge the first movie. They, you know, it, it has different scenarios in the past than what we saw happen in Hulk. <laughs> I'm saying that you can do a movie. You know, you can have another Batman movie where they didn't show the origin, but still things were changed around a little I guess, bit. I guess, yeah, because the first Batman. Like, they delved into the origin for a little bit, but... Yeah, yeah, the, it, it uh, was mostly Michael focusing Keaton, yeah. just on, on Batman and Joker, Joker doing their shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to have a an hour prologue showing Bruce Wayne becoming Batman for it to be a new Batman. Yeah, because I'm yeah. um, sick but of... Seeing it's his still fucking parents die. I'm just, I know. I know. It's been <laughs> even you so know, much in the movies and let alone the comic books. You know, every other issue is flashing back to his parents lying in that fucking yeah. gutter. Um, yeah, and that's why my character is better because yeah, his dad died, but he doesn't delve into it every freaking <laughs> series. Well, I guess it's because that didn't Green make Lantern, him become Green Lantern, but no, semantics. No, but still, um, <laughs> that's a big basis on the character. Even of Green my Lantern. character. Died. He doesn't talk about it every five seconds. Okay, the first six <laughs> issues of the new series was him dealing with the uh, Haley Circus and going back to it. So yeah, that's not. But it's, it's still talking about it. But it's but still but about it. but it's but, not but, but, but uh, <laughs> Batman <laughs> and Superman <laughs> back on track, everybody. <laughs> hey hey hey, we are nerds. Sorry. And uh, I, I, I hate to say <laughs> this honestly because I know it'll sound really selfish. But I don't like the idea of this new Batman being introduced as second fiddle. And well, that's because you are. Uh, yeah, I'm a huge Batman geek, and I know, like I said, it's you guys to say see after the just rest getting a trilogy. Yeah. You. Don't worry. At the end of this, I will turn the video camera <laughs> and show you the Hall of Batman. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, Lord yeah, Almighty. Here, actually, you're sitting on top <laughs> of the Killing Joke. <laughs> And Which here's the room. I did not use as a camera stand. I think it's a, it deserves better than that. Okay, okay. Not only are you sitting on the Killing Joke, there are three Batman comic books I could see that you were sitting on. Yeah. What is the other one? Please tell me it's Batman. It's Hang on. The Black Batman, the Black Case Book, and Batman R.I.P. <laughs> What's the middle one? I want to figure out what the middle the, one is. The Black Case Book. Or wait, it's... Yeah, it's the Black Case book, and then whatever happens to uh, the Cape Crusaders. And yeah, so four this is uh, Batman books. See, Batman, 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 <laughs> Batman. I think we have uh, made our point here, Ben. So, yes. Yes. Yeah, but I got a thing for Batman. <laughs> and as you can see, I am a Green Lantern fan. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I, so yeah, I know it's unselfish when I say, you know, I don't want him to, uh, this new Batman to be a side character in his first appearance because he just got his own trilogy, but mm -hmm. I would like to see him have his own movie to really establish him as a character. That, you know, well, I, I just think... want to figure out where they're going to go with it, just like I was saying earlier. Like, I under I fully understand having a new movie for that, okay. because it, mm -hmm. it, with this new direction that they're taking Batman, I want to know what they're yeah. going with it. I'm hoping they go for a more Whedon-esque Slightly comic bookier version. Of her, so like, he doesn't sound like this anymore. <laughs> and that's one thing I am. I will say this about Ben. Unless he's still like, sounding like this. The man can't. He is a subtler actor, and hopefully he will bring us a little bit subtler oh, a Batman yeah. than Christian Bale. Yeah. And that—that's the big thing for me. Is when you look at the Nolan trilogy, you know what—what what draws you into those movies is the villains. Mm -hmm. You go because you want to watch Heath Ledger as okay. the Joker. You want to see Tom Hardy as Bane. And Christian Bale is your through line, but you never really go to see Batman. Christian Bale, he did that voice thing, and it just made it to such a joke that it's kind of hard to find that character cool anymore. And that's all I want, is I wanted an actor that could make Batman really cool what, again. What I want is a character, I mean an actor who can do the character both ways. Bruce and Batman, because we had Michael yeah, Keaton. Of course. We had Michael Keaton. Amazing Batman. And Bruce. Christian so Bale, a matter of great Bruce. Yeah, 
and Batman. Yeah. And then you had George Clooney and uh, Val Kilmer. No, we were didn't. No, we didn't. Good. They didn't. That that was, they were just yeah. for us. <laughs> they didn't happen! Hey, 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 hey. Batman nipples. Bat credit. Stop Batman it! Nipples. That's all I gotta say. Stop it! Galactus is a giant... Po- I mean, not Galactus. Uh, <laughs> shit, what is his name in Green Lantern? Um, uh, Parallax. Pa- Parallax. Parallax, son of... I'm a DC fan, really. Parallax <laughs> is a giant poo monster. <laughs> Parallax is a freaking cloud, just like Galactus was. Oh, Lord Almighty. Yeah, that's why I got the names mixed up, because they both got fucking shafted. I don't fucking want to hear about that shit. I know. Are they it, remaking it, Fantastic Four? I don't It's know. in the hope so. works, Kat. Yeah, I, I don't I think anything so. has been absolutely set in stone right now. I just realized Wait, something. Ben Affleck is going to... Ben Affleck is going, joining the um, ranks of actors who've done DC, DC and Marvel. Marvel. Dude, I yeah. fucking hate him right now because he's played Daredevil, Batman, and Superman. If you ever saw Hollywood Land, I you know, heard that he played he, Superman. He played, I never he saw played that, George though. Reeves, you know, the actor who played Superman back in, in the old black and white days. I heard he got and he, there are several scenes where you see him playing Superman, and so Ben Affleck has played that trifecta. <clears throat> well, Daredevil doesn't really count because it's Daredevil. Yeah, it's kind of a, I play Batman, Super. Oh, and I was Daredevil at one point. Yeah. <laughs> one movie I was Daredevil. It's kind of hush hush that one. Yeah. It was so, back in the Fox Marvel the days. We don't talk that, about any of those. The anymore. only thing that was good about that movie was Kingpin. Kingpin, yep. Yeah, Kingpin yeah. was. Oh, oh, sorry. We I are getting off topic. Colin Farrell. I mean, it's, like, but it's a good topic. topic. Yeah, Colin yeah. Farrell was great. Yeah, he, he was. He was good. Perfect. Just see the director's cut of Daredevil. It's a whole lot better. Yes, I've seen it. But yeah, I, anyways, Batman, Superman. Um, well, my my ideal thing was I, I, either, you know, I wish they had sure I wish they had given Batman a solo movie. What I would have liked was I want like I said I wanted to see a slightly more comic book version of Batman and him fight somebody like Mister Freeze, you know, somebody that you wouldn't see in the Nolan movies. And so he could finally Dude. have his redemption over that certain film no, that we will not no. speak of. The best villain but, they could get for this next movie, next movie. Mothman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, you know, it, 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 Superman's wrapping people up in his cellophane ass. Oh, Mothman's yeah, cocooning them with his web gun. <laughs> you know, it, there's no punches in this movie. Everybody's just getting incapacitated in one way or another. <laughs> we don't don't talk about that freaking cellophane ass. <laughs> that is why I can't watch the second movie. That, oh man, well, <laughs> watch the Donner cut. It's not in there. Smack. <laughs> oh no. Wait a minute. I'm good. That was mildly inconvenient. <laughs> Oh man! Um, I I do hope Luthor is the central villain. Honestly, I think the best way that they could make this movie work is not have a Batman villain, which would sadden me. But I'd like to see Lex Luthor as the main villain and Batman as the side villain. Aren't they actually like um, casting Luthor right now? I, I, that would, I don't that's know, a great you know, idea. Um, I'd like to see, because think about it. Yeah. The world of Man of Steel, let's say Batman exists and he's a hero and everything, but he has his strict moral code. And then suddenly Superman, this godlike being, comes along that just breaks the neck of an of enemy another right god in front of Another public. godlike being. Which is yeah. supposed um, to be the most Boy Scout thing ever. Hey, um, <laughs> spoiler alert at this part. We are talking uh, about the Superman Man of Steel movie. If you haven't if you seen haven't it by this it, point, why are you watching this video? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put some kind of spoiler um, in the beginning. There we go. Like but, but yeah, so you know, imagine somebody like Batman not only seeing a being like this who completely changes his worldview, but somebody who doesn't have a problem killing, yeah. as far and, as Batman as, knows. Yeah. And, again, someone who Batman, when strength comes along, can't defeat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Someone so strength. And then Who's suddenly easily this, this though, businessman mm-hmm. speaks up in Metropolis. He's a, a, a beacon of the city, a, a prominent public figure known for donating to charity and all that jazz. Lex Luthor, A, probably pissed off because Superman wrecked half of his property at the end of Fan of Steel. And, and then again, he, he didn't really do very much. What if this guy starts coming up? No, yeah. He screwed up a lot of Wayne yeah, stuff, too. Up a lot of Wayne <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, that satellite, you know, alone, that was probably Batman's spy satellite. Exactly. He was probably homing in on the Joker <laughs> and the goddamn it, Superman. <laughs> but, but Lex Luthor shows up and starts, you know, saying, who is this godlike being? We are human beings 
you know, we should be the masters of our own destiny. Something like that would be so appealing to Batman. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's how I'm kind of figuring Batman and Lex Luthor you, will use their brains to tackle Superman, and then at some point in the movie, you'll find out that Lex Luthor's been working with Brainiac, or, you know, has yeah. this and master Batman plan finds out all that his Superman own. Is bad. I mean, finds out that Lex is bad. Yeah, and, and they have to reluctantly Superman. team up. After a minimum of at least, you know, two good fight scenes between the two of them, probably. Yeah. Um, Are they going to finally introduce Kryptonite? Personally? I hope they do. With Batman, I hope they do, too. Because I... I okay, if it was with, used yeah, with only Batman. with Batman, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that would be awesome. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Not with... Lex, okay. But, I mean, I, I, and I it would should be Superman it. who gives it to him. Okay, um, I, I have one thing that I... It's a comedic part. But I would love to see it in the Man of Steel Batman movie. Him freaking about, freaking out about cupcakes or cookies. Yeah. Whatever it was. <laughs> we have to go to North Dakota <laughs> right now. Spoiler alert again: Man of Steel. I mean, not Man of Steel. Uh, Batman Superman comic book. Talking about it now. Yeah, it's uh, it, there's one point where Superman gets infected by I think it's silver red, red, kryptonite. Red. No, 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 it's red not kryptonite. No, it is, it is silver. It's it silver. Yeah, kryptonite. it's a special like magic type of kryptonite. It, you know, there's a bunch of different k- kryptonites, whole spectrum of the rainbow, but what this one does, they all have a unique effect, and this one basically makes him high. And at one point, Superman wakes up, he's like, Justice League, I smell brownies. In North Dakota. We have to go to North Dakota. Right. Now. <laughs> so, yeah, if there's not a, a, a Superman pot scene, I and Kevin Smith will both be very disappointed in this next movie. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, Kevin Smith just actually posted on Facebook that he made out with the new Batman. <laughs> <laughs> At some, like, award show or something like that, um, they did the Hollywood kiss where they don't actually kiss, yeah. but um, it was Ben Weren't Affleck they making fun Smith of um, just, like, Ben Affleck just, like, grabbed him and just... <laughs> <laughs> Weren't they making He's like, I made out with Batman! <laughs> Weren't they making fun of Brittany and, um, awesome. the, the, the butcher? Chris, is it Christina Aguilera? Yeah, yeah. Aguilera. They are making fun of them. yeah. yeah. And Madonna, I think she was in that. I think it was, it was Madonna, not. Yeah, it was I, Ma- I have no idea. <laughs> it was. I don't know why we're talking pop about this. Singers, I'm sorry. I don't know. Guys, we talk about comics to avoid these other topics, <laughs> for God's sake. Okay, okay, Batman, Superman. Um. Yeah, I, I want to see. I want to see one fight scene between Batman and Superman where it's just the two of them, and like Batman tries to throw bombs and his gas stuff at him, and nothing works, and Batman gets his ass whipped. And then a second fight scene where he comes back in like a robot suit. Yeah. Or some shit. I want to see I one of those like Dark Knight you Returns see, armored suits and just all out. Boom. You see, the thing is, I don't actually think with the new Man of Steel that Superman would actually fight Batman. Uh, no. I don't think they, he would uh, because. No, let, let me put it to you this way. That, uh, in, even despite what you might think of the character, the makers have made it fairly clear that they're going to fight. You know how they announced. Um, this new movie, they had the the general from Man of Steel come out on stage at Comic Con and read a passage from The Dark Knight Returns, talking about when the two of them were fighting. Um, and then they brought up the big logo and even the big bat signal that they've crafted looks exactly like the one from Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. So they're definitely going, going to, to have <laughs> the confrontation Dude, between the two of them. If they're going to do something like that, what if they introduced Ollie? To get started for a Justice League movie. Uh, that, once again, that goes back to the issue of yeah, crowding. That'd be you know, way um, too much. Not it. to mention, you'd have to make it tie in with this new Arrow show. You wouldn't have to, but the execs at Warner Brothers wouldn't want to yeah. be mixing By the way, like Oliver, that. or Ollie, who I just said, is Green Arrow for the people who don't know who it is. I'm sure yeah. our audience knows. Not necessarily. There, <laughs> might, be the there <laughs> might be Marvel fans. There might be Marvel fans. Speaking of so, which, yes. with Marvel, if we ever run out of things to talk about in this video. We could talk about how Marvel is doing this massive <laughs> collaboration of everyone. <laughs> I do want to say that that's something Josh and I talked about when they made this announcement about Batman Superman. It almost feels like a middle finger from DC to Marvel. Mm-hmm. Just like, oh, it was a big event when you got six of your heroes together. We only Let's get two, two motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> World's finest, bitches! Okay, I'm gonna say, <laughs> with the Avengers movie, they only really needed one. The Hulk. Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. Yeah. So, my character wins? 
Well, they needed Mark Buffalo to actually. We have Batman and Superman. We have a Hulk. They, they needed the, they needed the Hulk to uh, to win the battle. They needed uh, Iron Man to win the box office. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, but no, it's the, the amount of. And that's that's kind of like with the Marvel movies. Since they each got an individual movie, that's what it made it so much more exciting when they teamed up. Mm -hmm. It was you have this movie and this movie, and what if they come together? Oh my god! And so it's hey, it's kind hey, of hey, hey, hey. it was actually this movie, this movie, and this movie. I know was three I'm, of them. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying that in terms of Batman, Superman, it's a little weaker to have. You have this movie. And then in his sequel, we'll add on this guy. But you also gotta <laughs> think, when it comes to comic book characters, you don't really need an origin story for Superman and Batman. They are the most popular, yeah, the you most like, well-known Like I, I've said, it's, it's not about establishing a new origin. Yeah. It's about just having a proper introduction well, to the character. Talking about how Marvel did, okay, right. Marvel did the three movies first, and then did the Avengers movie. You don't have to do that with the Superman and Batman movie. Mm -hmm. Because everybody knows what happened to Batman. Everybody knows what happened to Superman. Superman, his parents died because they sent him. No, wait. Because the planet blew up and they sent him to Earth. And they sent him to Earth. Moses with aliens. aliens. Basically. Uh, <laughs> um, and then Batman, his parents died in front of him and he wanted to avenge them. Everybody knows that. Yeah, just like everybody knows Uncle Ben got shot and, uh, you know, all that. <laughs> Uncle Ben! <laughs> Sorry. But, uh,. So yeah, you know, by this point, it's it's been established. We know the freaking routine. Yeah. Um, so you don't need you you don't yeah, need and that I do first not movie want to Netflix. see another origin. I yeah. do not. You just want to see a single. You want to see see a single movie with Ben Affleck. I just want another. I want to see more of this new Batman to build the hype, so it really feels like a payoff when the new Superman and the new Batman come together. Yeah, yeah, I, I um, can see that. That, yeah, that, that yeah, you know, and I know it's not gonna happen that way, so I should stop although, complaining about that it didn't go my way. Although, if they were to say that, hey, we're not gonna do a movie for Green Lantern, a movie for Flash, we're just gonna do a team up with Green Lantern and Flash, I wouldn't care. I just be, yeah, you're still getting to see your. Characters I get to see my get team up. Yeah. I get to see my team up. They wouldn't be able to do that because not a lot of people know about the Flash or Green Lantern. Which, mm -hmm. well, actually, Green Lantern's Green Lantern's getting pretty big now, but. True, big enough. Um, it's because of John's. Yeah, Jones, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we pronounce Jeff's name? Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm glad that you know I'm getting to see Batman, a new it's, Batman, especially so soon after the Nolan trilogy ended. It's it's really amazing that we just got a whole trilogy, and I'm already being treated to a reboot. And you know, it'll be amazing to finally see Batman and Superman on screen up. together. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> We finally get Despite, to see the team up of all team ups. Yeah, exactly. Despite all my complaining, just the idea of Batman and Superman on screen in real life together is incredible. I mean, it's, it's know, basically to the point where no matter how bad we think we're gonna, it's gonna be, we're still gonna go to the freaking midnight showing. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like you hear, no matter what, yeah, we're it's, gonna it's be Elvis and the Beatles doing a concert oh, together. Me. You know, oh, it's, it's like, like yes. I don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's like who knows how well they'll perform together, but you gotta go to the show. <laughs> um, I would say like Iron Maiden or Alice Cooper, but I already saw that. Well, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to get into that. But yeah, but going back to Affleck, because we did kind of drift from him for a while, I, I do want to say that I think he's a very talented artist. He's an incredible director. Mm -hmm. Bravo for Argo and the town oh and whatnot. God, Argo is um, No, Argo's fantastic. And he, you know, I think a lot of people overlook the performances he gave in both of those movies, because mm -hmm. he was a really good lead in both of them. Uh... I guess, for me, it's just... It, I honestly... Maybe I'd be okay with it if Daredevil had never been made. Exactly. It's <laughs> it's, the I last think that's a, the, a lot of... It's like because the, the last superhero movie he did, where he was the main superhero, it freaking well, sucked. Yeah. I think, th like, that's the problem that a lot of yeah. people have. Yeah. Is the fact that if, he was... I, you see, and that and just, we've the, had cross-casting before but, between Marvel and DC... We've but never a, a major hero becoming another major hero. 
You know, it, right. you see what I'm yeah. saying? Right. Like, it feels like he's already made his stamp on Daredevil, and he will always be Daredevil. And I, Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, it's just, you know, you can say, it's like, oh, well, Tommy Lee Jones was Two-Face, and then he was the general in Captain America. It's no big deal. But it's weird seeing, you know, I'm going to be watching his Batman and just sitting there thinking of... He's Daredevil, yeah. you know. It's, uh, it's, it's I'm not like Human I'm Torch not. and Cap. Because you know, Human Torch and Cap. That's not even cross. That's in the same exact universe. Yeah. <laughs> See, but I guess that's still. I mean, honestly, though, it's kind of it's not in the same universe. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's Sony may both be Marvel, but it's two different yeah. Marvel universes. Yeah. So I guess Chris Pine is a, a real. That's actually yeah. That's a really good example because I barely even think of him as the Human Torch anymore. He's Captain America yeah. to me. So maybe when Affleck shows Is up as Batman, no. that will be his new stand. It's not Chris it's Pine. Chris, What'd I say? You, you said, said Chris Pine. He's Chris, oh, Evans. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pine. Yeah. Isn't Pine's... Um, okay, well, okay. well, Captain yeah. Kirk would be awesome as the human torch. <laughs> For the Fantastic Four reboot, there you go. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe Affleck will be incredible, you know? And if, honestly, when I look at him as just an actor and some of the stuff he's done... I, like I can right. see him doing oh, the yeah. part. I just there's this kind of built up prejudice in the back of my head. <laughs> the way I see it is, yeah, Daredevil was an awful movie, but I have seen enough movies since Daredevil came out in what two thousand six. Six. Yeah. I've seen enough Ben Affleck movies to be like, yeah, Daredevil sucked, but Ben Affleck is still pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this might be the role he's been waiting for. This might be the the uh, comic book role that he was made for. For all we know, he might be the best Batman we've ever seen. I just, I guess the thing with me is that while Affleck has always been a good actor, one of the things that kind of sticks in my head is I just don't know if he is capable of that level of darkness. Um, I also think with I you don't want is... The, uh, personally, I actually don't want them to go that dark. I and don't, I, don't I don't want, want super go, dark. I just mean the dark night Batman night. himself has to have that kind of cold, calculating sense about him. Well, yeah. They do. You know? He's a very, very stern um, character. But you also got to think time, that I don't want him to be a lot of people. No, no, I highly doubt Affleck will go with no, that voice, I, I really and don't that's think one thing I'm glad for. At least we'll be done with that of, joke. Yeah. <laughs> you also got to think that a lot of the people who they're making these movies for aren't comic book readers. There are people who want to see they a good action movie, action. Mm -hmm. and yeah. right now Ben Affleck like, is a hot item. Yes. And so they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna make the movie more towards the non fans than they're gonna make towards us nerds. <laughs> Fuck you, Hollywood. <coughs> no, it, I see it as a good thing because yeah. they make the animated films for us. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. The yeah. That tells for us. detail that we know about. And the live action for the people. <laughs> who don't know anything about it. And I like to go yeah. see those movies because... And it's a good thing that they do because that's, that's how fun. everybody yeah. gets into comics anyway nowadays. I'm you know? going to say that, yes, Green Lantern is probably one of the worst DC movies ever to come out, but I will still watch it because it's a great origin story for people who know nothing about yeah, Green Lantern. Yeah, don't know a thing. Yeah, it's still <laughs> a fun movie. It's still a fun movie. I like it. But... Uh, it, mm, Hector Hammond pissed me off. Hector Hammond pissed me off. Testicle head. <laughs> Hector Hammond and um, Parallax. 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 Whatever they pronounce it. <sighs> um, God. Okay. Anyway. Not to mention CGI that makes you know we Pixar don't want to get realistic. <laughs> we don't want to get into that. We yeah. really do not want to get into <sighs> Green Lantern with me being here. That's just gonna end horribly. Shit's gonna get thrown. Let's continue on with uh, Batman Superman. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I and it will be interesting to see him just interacting with Henry Cavill Superman. Oh yeah. Because yeah. um, I, I've actually heard people say that they didn't like Henry Cavill Superman. I liked it. Which I, I don't get. I thought he was perfect. I'm sorry, yeah. honestly. I really loved him. Um, it's a lot better. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But and. Well, it, I'll put a, one thing I was glad was when I heard all the Dark Knight Returns stuff, I honestly thought that they were going to go for an older Batman as a kind of pseudo-sequel to the Nolan trilogy, That's you know? That's what I was thinking. Um, um, how old are they going to make it? Yeah, but, but I, I, so I'm like, glad to see that they're still going to be on equal level. They or at least be, enough. I, mean, I know Affleck's a little bit older, probably, than um, They wouldn't Cavill, but. be able to do an older Batman because Batman is not a big enough dick 
to let all that shit happen in Metropolis yeah, and not I try to it, stop. Batman's gonna have to be. He is not gonna let the world. The, I will end. say at the same time though that shit that happened in Metropolis all happened within like an hour. So Bruce might not have even been able to get to dude, the freaking city. Dude, it's Bruce. Uh, but Bruce it, can do yeah, shit it that was, <laughs> it was a worldwide kind of like, catastrophe. Well, it was in two spots, you know. On that the was destroying sides the almost the whole world. But well, no, I mean, even like the entire world knew what was going on. It, it, it was, well, it in that case, like, Batman this was specific area and this specific area are in trouble. It was like. The hey. entire Earth is being threatened right now. Well, in that <laughs> case, if the whole Earth is being threat- threatened, then imagine how fucking crazy Gotham City must have been. Oh, yeah. He would have been oh, yeah. working his ass off just to catch all the crazies running him up because the world's gonna blow up! I don't know. Aliens are here! I'm sure, I'm sure if the world was gonna blow up and Gotham was getting overrun by shit... He would probably he go help... Gotham. He, yeah. he would probably go help save the fucking world. Yeah. So they're gonna have to do with do a younger Batman who just showed well, up. Yeah, I think, it, or at least in between I don't the know interim. Just showed up. Yeah, I don't like the idea of him being a newbie. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying like just him, like a uh, couple days ago he came, became Batman. I'm saying like he's been going for like maybe. What I'd like to years. see is maybe Clark Kent walks into the Daily Planet at the beginning of the sequel, and they have the. Um, the junk section in the newspaper talking about some giant bat in Gotham City. Like, everybody still considers him an urban myth. Maybe he's been around for years. You and, know what uh, would be cool? Is if somehow they tied in... Um, spoilers, if you haven't seen The Dark Knight Rises. Seriously. <laughs> um, but What's if, wrong with if you? They put, if, they, if they put Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character and just made him older. Like, Ben Affleck is... Joseph See that? Uh, that, that is, but think no, about I, it. I don't ever it. want no, those. No, uh, no. The Nolan trilogy has to exist in its own universe. Yeah, okay. It has to. The Nolan, to. It, it, it's too not comic booky. It's too realistic for it to be part of a Superman freaking series. That and it makes Superman look like a dick. Yes. <laughs> no, oh, hey, no, Bane no, had no, Gotham under no, siege no, no, for six no, no, months. No, Thanks no, for helping no, out, no, Superman. No, hear, me, hear me out here. This, that's that's what I was saying. Was there was that time where back. There wasn't a Batman. <laughs> that could have very easily been when everything in uh, Man of Steel was happening. Yeah, but which which means that in this new story that's happening, they're taking they're doing this new take on Batman. Why isn't it Gordon Levitt's character? Why he's a new Batman. He's a brand new Batman. He's not the Batman that we've been because for this for the past trilogy. The Batman that is. In the Superman Batman movie is Bruce Wayne. It is going to be Bruce Wayne. Yeah, true. And it's, it's not yeah, going, it's to, going be to be Robin, whatever the hell his last and name is. And to be was. frank, yeah. you know, I love Dick Grayson, it's which I know this is kind of like the Frank's. spiritual character of Dick Grayson. <laughs> but when we go see and Batman in the movie theater, it needs Superman to be with, Bruce Wayne. Yes, you want yeah. to see Bruce Wayne oh, yeah. as Batman. No, uh, you have to Richard have that Bruce character. Robin. Yeah, which that's is nobody else. It has to be Bruce movie. under the cow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and yeah, the, there's I, no I one movies. Really, I didn't really think about that. That it's yeah. going to be. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so they, they, they can't gonna, exist I'm gonna say in this that universe. With this movie, I'm not going to I'm not gonna say if I agree with it or if I disagree with it until the movie comes out because I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't yeah, that, know. We are at such an early stage. I, no I mean, we've expect. got at least like two years before we're going to see yeah, this it's, movie. Yeah, it's uh, July 17th, 2015. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we got a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, I'm sure, you know, right now all I'm thinking about is when, back in 2007, they came out and announced, and the Joker is going to be played by Heath Ledger. <gasps> oh my God! That <laughs> stupid pretty boy from A Knight's Tale is going to be playing the greatest film ever. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. This movie blows. Batman begins was good, but they're going to wreck it. And, the and then the very first trailer world. for The Dark Knight came out. The first trailer. I still remember sitting, looking at my laptop, watching it, and just the second he spoke, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe when the first trailer for this comes out, or even when we see some photos of him in the cowl, everybody will be like, I'm even... Whoa! I mean, <laughs> yeah, even Michael Keaton. You didn't expect him to be <laughs> Not at all. Batman. Lord. No. No. <laughs> no. 
you know, I actually just found out the other day, you know, the, the very opening scene with the mugger on the roof yeah. where he's holding him, the guy goes, what are you? Originally, he was, the line was, I am the knight. And really? Michael Keaton didn't like that, so he just pulled the guy in and went, I'm Batman. <laughs> it's like, he, man, Michael Keaton is awesome. Batman. <laughs> Speaking of that's all you can say about him, man. Seen he movie. is Batman. That's um, and that's what I'm hoping Affleck will bring back is the subtlety of the role. Yeah. Chris, Christian Bale, he, he tried to be intimidating and he tried to be scary he so hard, hard. He tried to hard. he came out this silly. Michael Keaton, I love how he just kind of, he whispers and never really raises his voice. He's just, Batman. He's yeah. Batman. You know, and he's the only Batman who smiles. Like, I love that moment where the Jack Napier looks at him and goes, a nice outfit, and he just smiles back at him. I'm like... I'm Batman, your ass is grass. You know? <laughs> There's nothing you can do in this situation. And that that's what I want to see Batman be like again. Just badass. And hopefully a combination of a script, Zack Snyder directing, which Zack, I do want to say Zack Snyder directing Batman. That's a good thing. Look at like how awesome he made Rorschach and the comedian, these anti-hero mm -hmm. characters in Watchmen. So I think he will have a very good grasp on what to make a good Batman. So, oh, yeah. I guess really at this point, we just got to trust their decisions. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to say that I feel like it's probably going to be a good movie. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it's going to be a good movie. I love Henry Cavill as, ba as Superman. As long as he doesn't ride any horses. Sorry. <laughs> um... The Superman curse has got to catch up to him eventually. Oh, it's yeah. Happened to it's everybody else. Yeah. I had a buddy who, earlier, I mentioned that too, and uh, he said, Well, what about that last guy, Brandon Ruth? And I was like, Have you seen anything with him in it lately? Yeah. No, my point there exactly. You go. <laughs> <laughs> His horse was Dylan Dog. <laughs> oh, jeez, man, enough of the horse truck. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to go out and say, I think this movie's going to be good because I, I don't have that level of faith yet. I need to start seeing some stuff. If Man yeah, of Steel. Early stage and... If Man of Steel had been a little bit better, I think I'd be more confident, but it was still just a pretty good movie. Okay, you know? it was a um, great movie when it comes to doing a movie for Superman, because he is a very difficult movie oh, character to do a movie for. Difficult to get. He's yeah. so overpowered that there's not much you can do with the man. Mm -hmm. Except for, I, I will say, say that what kind of concerns plan. me is no. I really hope they brighten up the tone of Superman, because if we have <sighs> the Man of Steel tone Superman with an Batman. even potentially darker yeah, dark, Batman, yeah. that's what makes it so interesting is having this beacon of hope and this demon of, of lot of streaks yeah. together. So they really need to you elevate Superman. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure, do I'm sure the, the, the opening one. of this movie, they're really going to have to... They're going to need to take out all those blues, throw in some yellows, make it a brighter See, metropolis. I'm sure yeah. with the next one that... it's He's going to be a lot nicer character, a lot brighter character, because mm -hmm. this was an origin story. So this yeah, is at what least he was by now he has his up. purpose. Yeah. So... He knows what he's got to do. He's going to do it, and he's going to do good. I feel like that's, that's Superman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Until Batman whoops his ass! It's going to happen. If there wasn't a kryptonite <laughs> ring, if there wasn't a kryptonite ring, there was no chance in hell Super Batman could take Superman. There was no chance in hell any DC character could take Superman. I'm, even the powerful fucking ring that the Green Lanterns have tell that to Doomsday. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, there's only one being that I've seen. Well, okay, there's a couple beings, but the other beings have color bases: black, yellow, red. That has been able to bring break a construct, and that was Superman. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. We don't need to even worry, really. I think about having the who would win in a fight argument because I have a feeling these the filmmakers behind this know that the fan bases for both characters are really strong, and they're not going to give a clear cut victory to oh, either. Yeah, they're, they're just going no, to have each other. Be another they're just going to humble. No, it's, it's going to be. It's going to be a <laughs> perfect example. New Frontier, where in the news, Batman yeah. and Superman had that big fight. No one really won, and they were just like staging it, and yeah. that's what. That would be a cool loved. take. <laughs> that would be a great take because Superman and Batman teaming up to stop Lex, but Batman going with Lex to trick Lex into thinking that he is with yeah. 
Lex and not Superman. Yeah, I do think they will honestly have Bruce be with Lex Luthor for a little bit. It, I mean, I, I can't say for certain. It just seems like that that would work really well and would be a good option to take. The two humans using their intellect and everything. Um, that, you know, maybe Lex builds him the robot bat suit for yeah, all we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I would love to see Lex show up in his suit. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a... Zack Snyder, you know, after you see the ending of Man of Steel, and you can tell Zack Snyder was like, this is for 30 years of not having a decent Superman fight in a movie. We're just going to get all this aggression now. I have a feeling that he's going to know that, yeah, we need to see Lex Luthor actually throw some punches. He's got to be guy. in the suit, dude. If they don't throw the suit in, I'm going to be sad about this movie. Now, let me ask you this. So, I think... It, it can be safely said that if there's going to be a Superman villain in this movie, it's going to be Lex Luthor. He's just too perfect as a bonding agent for these two characters. Oh, yeah. But if there was a Batman villain, who would be the best one to throw into the mix? If it's Lex, you'd have to have someone who, who, who could stand up with Lex. No, someone who could stand up with Lex. Well, I'm saying we're already going to have Batman and Lex Luthor. Those are our intellectual sides. We need somebody who can... Who can take who, Superman. Who can bring some Wait, strength. You also, and I gotta know think, yeah. you also got to think that it's got to be someone who Lex would be willing to side to team up with. Him. And or at least not there be could be a, a convenient group. truce between. Yeah, yeah. it's... The, you know, the enemy if, of my... If any friend, Batman... Exactly. Yes. I, I, I would have to, to go with a money... A money villain. I'd have to say that if it was to be any villain, I, w I would say Penguin. But see, that's what I'm saying. Not because, because I'm a yeah, It needs power, to be something more differentiated from Lex Luthor. Because yeah, Lex Luthor's I mean, already the businessman, exactly. the tactician, both and all rich. that. They both have that kind you of You need power, somebody please. like... I'm, I'm, honestly, I, well, I say it again, Mr. Freeze. I'd love to see Mr. Freeze. I'd I, I, even if I, I don't think they do it again this early, Scarecrow would be awesome because Scarecrow no, his toxin really. could actually have an effect on Superman. And, okay, um, if you wanted to go with what a comic book fan would really, really want is since it's Lex, you gotta have Batman's version of Lex. You would have to have Joker because he is way too much to throw into is, a movie. It, that uh, big it is, villain, yes, yeah. but that's what people. That's what they want to see. They want I, to see yeah, honestly, of Batman, yeah, Superman yeah, versus Lex and Joker. I don't know Perfect. if they would want to see a Joker this soon. I, I honestly Especially don't. Especially the public it's is It's been enough time. Uh, it's not too soon anymore. I, for jokes, maybe, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, it, and honestly, the, there's a whole other rogues gallery out there. I still yes, want to see yeah. other films. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm uh, still going to go with the money bases. I'm still going to go with the person who... throw man bat in there. <laughs> Even, you know, uh, again, Mothman. Clayface or Mothman. something like that. Okay, oh Clayface a Clayface can be a badass. Oh, yeah. A great one, if they had more time, would be Ra's al Ghul, because oh. that's somebody who could actually threaten Superman on his own basis. Mm -hmm. um, but Or if they hadn't just yeah. done Bane, you know? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but chances are they will need to just focus on Batman, Superman, and one villain, Lex yeah. Luthor. That's the really the only way they could this is make the it out to the Justice League, isn't it? No. It, it they won't be introducing the Justice League. It'll it okay. open up the universe for possibilities. It is. They. Know, I'm pretty sure they did announce that this is this going is to like, be the basis the start of, it, of yeah. the Justice League movie. Whoever's in this movie, if they do well enough, if the money is right, they're going to be the Superman and the Batman for the Justice League movie. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't doubt that for Henry Cavill. Yeah. Oh, he's he's yeah, a great he's, Superman. Yeah, he's great. I, I hope he sticks around for a while. I I, I want to see what they do with Flash. I want to see how the Flash is going to work out. I want to know which League. Flash they're going to pick. It's going to be Barry. It's it is, going to be Barry because of the new Fifty Two. It's going to be Barry because the new Fifty Two Flash. Okay, in the new Fifty Two Flash, follow Wally. New 52, yeah, oh, of course, of course, because that is the current series. That is a series that everybody knows. That is this. Yeah, but the, the Superman Batman crossover. It's like it's not that's dude, not current. It's like Green Lantern. Everybody when it comes to Green Lanterns, most people know John Stewart from the series. They went with Hal Jordan because he is the current Green Lantern. He is the one that everybody is reading right yeah. now. Yeah. So they had to go with Hal. And they're gonna go with Wally. Because No. Or wait, wait Barry. is it Barry? They're gonna Barry's go with the Barry. one right now? Oh my yeah. bad, my bad. Barry, Barry is Yeah, because Barry just for the sake of marketing, they want to have Barry, since he's the hero in the comics, people go see the Flash movie, they're like, I want to read a Flash comic, and go, and they can read the same character. Yeah, yeah. they're going to want to do a care like, they're going to want to do the original. They're going to want to do Barry, they're going to want to do Hal, they're going to do 
Diana, Bruce, um, Jean. Are they going to do Jean? Jean, are they going to do Jean? I'm I'm not even going to speculate about projects past Batman Superman yeah, at this it's point way, honestly again, it's way too early because to yeah think without even Batman. the slightest announcements anything we speculate would be complete shots in the dark oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah exactly. of course um, and I mean, our Batman and Superman conversation is fairly shot in the dark. Because they we just... Some in, grounding yeah, we all, they inter- all they announced is Batman. Batman. Just, we, have, we have Batman, yeah. we have Superman, we have no idea where they're going with it. But yeah. I just like to think, you know, that it seems what we've discussed has been the logical course based on what they've already established in Man yeah. of Steel yeah. and everything. And then again, um, there have a lot of personal opinions thrown in there. Oh, yeah. I mean... Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it all has to do with how you feel about the character. You love Batman. You love Batman characters. You guys can go fuck yourself. (laughs) (laughs) I guess, you know... Especially you, who stole my ring in one of the comic books and punched me in the neck and almost killed me. Fuck. Jackass. What was that? Um, All-Star. Was it All-Star Batman where um, Dick punched... That towel in the throat? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, it was Robin. Robin. Yeah, yeah, it was Dick. Uh, Dick Dick was Robin. And he punched him in the throat after stealing his freaking ring. Way to be undone by a (laughs) ten-year-old. Oh, Lord. I mean, if we're going with my favorite character, we're not going to exactly mention his last movie. (laughs) Are you talking... Talking Wolverine. Okay. Uh, Shut up. (laughs) Shut up. I am the biggest Deadpool fan in the whole group, and that fucking movie pisses me off. I'm sorry for yeah, the cussing and all that. I'm a huge Wolverine fan. That movie pisses me off. You know, I mean, something I've been like as Batman don't, don't seem bad. so bad. I know! <laughs> yeah, exactly! This is okay. it. hey, not a bad idea. You guys want to know what's a great <laughs> idea for a movie? To make the Merc with a mouth? Mouthless! <laughs> That's an awesome <laughs> idea! However, they... I. Don't you dare! Listen, don't no! I am not going to listen. If you I are going saying. to say anything good about that movie, listen I'm going to punch you in the face. What I am Fuck saying. off! Fuck off! Um, I did see an interview <laughs> with um, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds that he was saying that they are on again, off again about a Deadpool movie over and over and over and over and over again mm-hmm. to the point where he's actually getting sick of it. I think he's a good Deadpool. Oh, he was. A I gr- think he's an amazing Deadpool, and they, Best they want him yeah. for oh, yeah. a Deadpool movie, a solo Deadpool movie. But they are so back and forth against with it. He said that it's like the worst relationship that he's ever had before. It's because of the fucking what, whatever the fucking director's name, ruining Deadpool. No, ruining Deadpool. What, he, no, what, what's that? What's that new movie that he's doing? That uh, R.I.P. Yes, R.I.P.D. R.I.P. Uh, Which it, I heard was. Cr- Really? I'm yeah. still gonna go see it. Damn I don't it. care because it's been out well, for a it was while. Because it's, it might not even be they were basing it off of that. Bombed. It was how well that movie did. Was whether or not they were even gonna be able to do a Deadpool movie or not. Mm. What I want is Marvel to, to start doing their fucking movies, not Sony. Yeah, I won't necessarily say that because I do like what Sony's working on. I mean, The Amazing Spider-Man is amazing. really good. X-Men: First Class, and we've got the sequels to both of those coming out. Not to mention a potential Fantastic Four reboot in the works. So, I'm, I'm not gonna count Fox out. Um, I thought it was Sony. Yeah. Or no, it was Fox. Fox. I thought it was yeah, Sony. It's Fox. Um, is it the, are they the same? I don't know. Maybe they're whoever they are. Whatever. But but that's that's a whole <laughs> other conversation for a whole other day. So in closing, uh, as far as Batman Superman goes, because I think we've reached the yeah, yeah, yeah this we've conversation. Uh, you know, Affleck. I am. Willing to give him a chance. I just need to see a little bit of evidence because so I'm still skeptical. Yes. Yeah, I, um, I was like, I was skeptical with Henry Cavill. I saw him in um, Immortals. No. Ah, yeah. Tudors. That's the last thing. Ah, Tudors. Yeah, I saw yeah. him in the Tudors, and I was like, I can't picture you as a Superman. And the movie came out, and he was great. So mm-hmm. we got to wait for the movie. Because you yeah. had just recently seen Immortals, hadn't you? It, yeah. The Immortals. Yeah, I saw it after uh, after Superman. Yeah. 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 And we got to sit down right now that uh, come two years when we do see this movie, we have to watch this video again and see if we were oh, yeah. close at all. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> oh, okay. we're whether you're watching off. this on YouTube, I don't know if we're posting this on Facebook or something, sure. wherever you are watching this, 
post your comments. Tell us what you think about Throw some anything topics. that we have talked about. Yeah, okay. Throw some yeah, topics. Yeah, by all means, by the way, come up with some good topics. By the way, I've got a nice, if you like I, it. I've got a good next topic for us. New Fifty Two is coming to an end. Mm-hmm. It, it's getting to the point where the just the Justice League movie is going to be the basis on what the hell happened with the New Fifty Two. Mm-hmm. The um, Trinity, the Trinity Wars, mm-hmm. is what the hell happened with the reason why the New Fifty Two happened. Yeah. Next topic. Let's do New Fifty Two. How we feel about the new, the new Just direction as of the characters overall. However, I, I think that we should probably balance it out first. Because, I, because I, the again, new... let us know what you think about this seriously with what we're talking about right now. Yeah. But I think that since we've done such a DC focused video this time, that we Marvel. should probably go with Marvel. Yeah. With their Marvel. massive collaboration of heroes that they're doing. So. Okay. Well, let's. We've got several fairly controversial, maybe, I guess would be the word, uh, movies coming out for their second wave. So All right, we'll leave it up to you. We'll so, leave it up to them. Yeah. What yeah. Do, what do you guys new think? New 52? Marvel's wave 2, the new 52? Or... Star Trek, or Star Wars Episode 7. Who knows? <laughs> we'll throw you on top of yeah. If we see throw one that whatever you like to ours, hear. We'll do it. But it's all up to you. But hey, if you're still here at this point, thanks for listening. Seriously. We're here, we're nerds, and damn yeah. proud of it. <laughs> and Dragon Con is next week. See you there. See you there. <laughs>